A long time ago in the sunny Okanagan Valley, when grinder was barely a thing and I had way too much hair, I was just a little baby gay coming out of the closet. My first new friend was Cody. He's the life of the party. He loves liquor almost as much as he loves guys. A little too much. I am the one that always is laughing, drinking, or fucking. Suck in, suck in like a hoe. Liquor drink, go, uh-uh. Gotcha's is full of douchebags. Fuller than Elton John's closet. Are you sure that blonde boy was straight? Actually, he yeah. got me to sit on his lap. Our British friend Nick is a socialite. He's always on his phone and spending way too much money. <laughs> and that's Brandon, but we all call him Merwin. He comes from a sheltered, privileged life and isn't fully ready to accept things yet. I'm pretty sure Merwin would be pretty good at porn. Meeting a bunch of new people. Don't tell me I'm gonna be good at porn, douche. Not like the ones I'm used to. Jack said that, not me. Don't make me drive this I don't give a shit! Take off two articles of clothing. Take I only have two! That's not how I was raised. Barbie right there. Who's the big Nelly bottom? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Chris. I just wanted to have fun with my friends and meet cute guys. But I had no idea how crazy the next year was going to be. That's why I started documenting it. So watch what happens when you turn your life into a reality show. The following is not scripted. Let's face it, gay boys fucking gossip. They're always going to be something around about you. Shrug it off. It started with Cody and now all my friends are gay and I can't help it. A lot of the shit that you hear about yourself is fucking hilarious. No skin off of my back. If people aren't gonna get to know me. And girls are always like, give me some of your gay friends. It just doesn't work like that. Make a friend, and if he's gay, sweet. If not, fucking whatever. If you don't actually know who a person is, then how can you be their friend? They got a poofy and pretty, and then they kill each other. Very hard to find a guy that just wants to be himself and not what everyone else expects him to be. This world was not explained to me at all. I can't make it stop. You're filming. Are you trying to figure out how to turn the light off so it doesn't show? How many ounces in a cup? Uh, I'm Cody. I am, I guess, the loud one, the obnoxious one, the one that's kind of a douchebag. Do you know how many milliliters are in an ounce? Most people uh, would call me their slutty friend, although uh, I'm not embarrassed about that. <laughs> Let's face it, if you can own something, own it. Okay. 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 Speaking up and pronounce and project and whatever. Can you even see me on this? Am I out of the frame? Uh, Let me check. Chris. I call him Fluffy. Uh, he is human bait. You dangle him in front of the straight boys and they kind of come wandering out of the woodwork. They're slightly questionable. So, Cody, what did we buy? We got a nice 60 jello shooters. We don't know why you need this. Double. Expectations tomorrow. I'm placing money on who's going to puke first. Filming, sorry. <laughs> we have a lot more. Are you wearing a tie? Yeah. Someone's classy tonight. Hey, I'm Brandon. I'm just Merlin. meeting rich people for the first time, and yes, I know, okay? This is not as easy as it looks for me. I'm Merwin. I've had a conservative lifestyle. This world definitely was not explained to me at all when I was a kid. Merwin, really fun, really nice. He needs to kind of step out of the little box. Someone's at the door. It's the foreigner. Thanks. Hello. 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 I need a hug. He's British. I'm sold. We're discussing Hannah's boobs. Look, show the camera. We're gonna have a New Year's movie. This isn't my jacket. It's Merwin. That's why it's really gay. Why is it? Put that in there. Amy, Dave. I feel like a total idiot doing this. If only I was like YouTube famous, I wouldn't be awkward doing this. Amy and Dave. Um, you have to say something about who you're friends with, because I have to say that you're my best friend. Okay, Amy and Dave, my best friends. <laughs> I can't do it. I don't know why I can't do it. Hey! Okay, was that okay? <laughs> okay, the show is about you, right? Well, I you're kind of like the, it's your narrating it and stuff, okay. Hey! Is that okay? Yeah. I, I like how I say it and then I ask, it's okay. <laughs> hey! No. Cool arms. Don't make me look stupid. I won't. Hey! I'm Amy. I love gay boys and they love me. My best friend's Cody, and out of all the girls that have been in the group, I've been here the longest. I don't- Sluttiest. <laughs> Brad is gonna be like, I hate everyone. <sighs> You're all fucking Lulu. Uh, they want popkin cigarettes. <coughs> Smoking kills. <laughs> it's a video. <laughs> My Bradley impression. I hate you. Will you stick with me? No? Fine. And then I hate you again. <laughs> Bradley! 
I love him. Bitchiest person I've ever met in my entire life. So nice to me because I love him and he loves me. Brad dated Travis, who is Chris's ex. Um, it was kind of like a huge awkward situation involving my bedroom, but we're not gonna talk about that. I wasn't, well, actually I was really mad. I didn't talk to Brad for a while, but I still love him, it doesn't matter. Duel, bad breakup, bottle of liquor, new boy. So Duel's here. <laughs> I know what I know. Him. Alex is gonna be there, and Alex will be all over all the other guys. Oh, okay, and he has to watch it down. It's gonna be awkward. And by awkward, you mean amazing? Stop it. Yay, yeah, you like thought you were 12. Cry? I think he'll cry. He cried at the last dance. Jesse's first taste of wine. No, I've had wine. Oh, okay. Where are you? Oh, video. Hi, video. Video. Oh, you got a new one. Yeah. Do you How long did your mom take that one? All right. Oh, yeah, then Eric showed up. Hello. Hello, everyone. And then Eric walked in. Okay. What else? Can you tell me, girl? Chris has always lots of fun until Eric comes around. Kind of invited Eric. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Chris did. Awesome. Oh, awkward. Chris. Chris does not like Eric. We uh, have a little bit of a fling. Like all flings that don't work out for Chris, he secretly wishes that their head gets crushed by a piano. Eric, he's pretty and he knows it, and he expects people to treat him like it. Wishes that their head gets crushed. Wishes that their head gets crushed. Wishes that their head gets crushed. Wishes that their head gets crushed by a piano. Eric, don't even try. I will change it. Change don't it. touch it. I will change it. Eric. Everyone, relax. History there. Fun. It's oh, now I can pay. Yeah, it's a nice change from school. Oh, that tastes like crap. Wishes that their head gets crushed. Wishes that their head gets crushed. Wishes that their head gets crushed. Hey, the Macarena has never been gayer. I spoke too soon. It got a lot gayer. You spilled. You spilled that shit. Chris, what? We're leaving now. Bye. And Amy, no, you're coming too. Just follow me. That was good. I'm glad you got on the camera. Have you seen my boots lately? The dances. One giant hot mess for the boys to actually come out, be boys. I guess there are girls there too. Alex and Duel. It is kind of awkward. Alex and Duel. Who cares? Let's face it. Pretend to care. Shall we pretend to care about the well being of others? It's really not in my style to do that. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, bullshit. Control yourself, Norm. How was your night? Tell us about your night. Like, danced with a bunch of guys. My night was just fabulous. And that's the first time I've ever said that, and the last time I'll ever say that. Chris is mouthing the words to every single Britney song that plays. It's not, we couldn't see you. Good morning. Morning. Like further up. But no, with you and Eric, what was it? He's like, Chris hates you me, huh? Were. And I'm like, yes. Yes, he does. He's he was trying to be nice to you. Yeah, because he, he's and at he, my house. He's like coming up to everyone. It's just like, does Chris hate me? I'm like, yes. He's like, that, that was kind of straight up, wasn't it? That he's kind of like just went brutal for the truth. I'm like, well, he hates you. He's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure Chris hates me. I'm like, should I say it? I, I mean, tell him it all the time. That. He's like, Cody, you're the only one who tells me. And Amy was just like, oh no, he definitely hates you. <laughs> you oh, freaking ignore me like in public. You can always count on Amy to tell the truth. <laughs> are you wearing anything? <laughs> underwear. I'm not sure who they are. It was one of the boys that left underwear at my house. So They're so clean. <laughs> okay. So we went to the gym to go meet Nick, British man. Hey, hey. We found out he was going on a date with, um, Tyler. Wait, so you were gonna see Tyler today? Uh-huh. What are we gonna do? Just go chill, have a walk. Walk, sorry. Walk? A walk. 
a walk. But we all have a bit to say about Tyler. What do you think about him though so far? I think he's nice. He can date him or go on a date with him if he feels like it. I'm just saying, we had to put our two bits in. He's nothing bad. He was very mean to Nicole. We're not saying not to go to Valentine's with him. We're just warning you. We're giving you a heads up. You can go look at Dan. You can go to I Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do it. Let's go. Let's go. Star wipe. <laughs> Uh, we take more offensive shit that I say than post it. It'll be great. So we've um been seeing Zach a lot lately. Seems like a nice guy. You have not seen the uh, New Year's <laughs> Day footage of me and Chris, have you? No. Or the pre-New Year's footage where me and you were just sitting on your bed and just being incredibly offensive to everyone. Uh, probably. Anyways, and scene. <laughs> Yeah, there was this blonde chick that kind of came out of nowhere. I don't. Uh, we don't know her. She scared me a bit. They yeah, think they're the shittest. They think they're honestly. They think they're. Honestly, they they, they they but not as much as that dude. He just kind of came up and started yelling. <laughs> exactly! Yeah. It's fine, it's like son of a bitch! Gotchas is full of douchebags, fuller than Elton John's closet. All it is is a whole bunch of gangsters who just sit around eyeing up the drunkest girl there <laughs> to go home and sodomize. Like, they're like, is she drunk enough so I can stick in her pooper yet? What's going on? <laughs> Howdy! <laughs> Howdy! That I'm pretty sure Marin would be pretty good at porn. Yeah. What the fuck? Porn, really? I'm trying to film, don't poke me. Well, don't tell me I'm gonna be good in porn, you douche. Zach said that, not me. Well, either. I'm driving. Don't make me drive this car. I don't give a point. shit! I don't like dirty things, okay? I don't hear about it. I don't want to. It's not how I was raised. What? Why is this aimed at me? So who's Ken, who's Barbie? Uh, Barbie. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Marwin, if there's anyone I know, he is the most repressed one ever. Ken? <laughs> yeah. He's the big top. Barbie right there. Who's the big Nelly bottom? Bottom and top? What a weird analysis. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, even if I was one or the other, why would I say it? Okay. Fist, Barbie? Can Barbie, slip okay. okay. Which one? Chris should know. definitely just fuck I don't Erwin really, I don't raw. know all of you guys, huh? <laughs> we're, we're recording this for foreplay. <laughs> Woo! Cody can mind his own little sex stories to himself, and he can keep his little analysis in his bedroom. Fuck, you suck. Hey, Cody, what's up? Hey. How was your night with Jane? You got along. Nick like, is a magical elixir. <laughs> what are you up to today? I'm just heading to the beach to meet up with Merwin for a bit. Oh, uh, yes. Like, what's the deal? Like, this is like, you've gone decades without sex. Normal sex in a gay relationship is supposed to happen on the second date. I'm not ready for a relationship, and he's fine with it. Oh, God. Okay, whatever, I gotta go. I'll see you at Zach's. What's wrong with your laptop? Busted, because it's a piece of shit, because they lied to me about it. I have money, I pay for things, I should get perfect service. <laughs> Chris, it's kind of the reason I joined this little club. Membership's still shaky. What, you're just gonna turn straight? <laughs> You're jumping. Oh god. Um, hello. Me? He's really flirty. He doesn't want to settle down. Do rich people not jump? Actually, don't jump. Yeah, we kind of don't. We pay people to do that kind of thing. Ah! Yeah, he's a good guy. <laughs> You're right. The here. reason. Fucking don't do nature, you ass. Oh. 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 Yeah, 
And who is Zach? That is Zach right there. Zach, give us your birthday so smile. He's 20. Yes. I'm You're trying to be 20? nice. No, he's not 20. You're 21. Nice. 22. You're 22? Holy shit. Hi, oh, Megan. No. I'm on camera. Yeah, I've always had it. I'm on the way. Except the big fish off the wall. <laughs> it went up the bridge door and everything went flying out. <laughs> Chris, I kind of think he has something like a pheromone. It's just like a plant that spews out that perfume and everything's drawn to it. Because seriously, I don't even understand. They're all attracted. There's this new guy, Zach knows. He came in, he's kind of flirting with Chris. Turn the fucking video off, you- Filming you doing up your pants? <laughs> <laughs> it's the last time you'll see me doing them up. Next time I'll be doing them down. Really now? So he's gonna drop his pants. Class up. Thanks. I just flirted with What the fuck is only poker face, dammit? So, it was Zach's birthday. Zach seems like a pretty cool guy. We're both fairly new. I, uh, met people through Cody, and, uh, like, from the get-go, I kind of admired that he really didn't care what anybody thought about him, and he just, he was out to have a good time, and... But being friends with this group has definitely helped me because it's given me a good outlet to like be myself. I really wasn't used to like their, I really don't give a fuck what the world thinks about me. I'm gonna be me and uh, that's about it. His fucking shirt matches Cedric. This is the third Red. fucking time that I've seen that happen. Hey. How I roll, okay? Hey guys, guys, it's 11.30. We're all good and wrecked. So we need to go to the center. And Nick is here and drinking there. more wine. Mm -hmm. Half hour and just feel like, yo. <laughs> You're fat fuck <laughs> Who is this, Kyle? <laughs> We're on our way to level right now. Wow, so much gay. I didn't even know there was that much in this town. And then there was, you know, Zach's exes. Both of Zach's exes showed up. I could tell Zach wasn't over them. See who he's on a date with. Go! Your ex, man? Yeah. Awkward. Very awkward. Then Eric walked in. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Pretty good night. Uh, we got in a little bit of trouble from the bar. <laughs> they don't really want to see a gravy train of guys on their main dance floor in front of all the rest of the drunken straight boys. They... Uh, we've had several times the managers have to come up and talk to us because it's a little bit too gay. We got uh, thrown out for being too gay. We did Someone not held my hands out. and made out with me. In a lot of trouble. You know, tone it down. Boys haven't figured out that there's a difference between going to the clubs and dancing and doing the giant meat market that they like to do. I gotta admit it though, that whole stage was... No, it doesn't matter about that. It matters about the bump and grind that goes on where people think that they don't have to dance, they can just grab each other's fucking asses. It's a little too trashy, you know, with the boys all grinding on the stage and it's kind of slightly tacky. That's not yeah. dancing, that's just being I a whore. I dance, some but people, I also Some make people couch. are just being a whore on the dance floor. Why? I made out with everyone. You make out with me. <laughs> you don't, you don't want it. <laughs> I'm you mean. Okay, Chris, you don't want it, so that's why I don't do it. Not. Definite Chris world caliber sluttiness <laughs> right there. <laughs> that was bad. Uh, the meat train? The gravy train? That yeah. little boy in the black, he was horny. Zach has Eric on his lap. What are you doing? You don't um, go to the world, do you? No, he would go to the world. So I was sitting in the chair across from Chris, and Chris was sitting on the couch. He was like, yeah, I really don't want to watch this, so you should come over and sit with me. So we kind of sat together, and uh, things just kind of happened. And then Chris and Scott were kind of like under a blanket. Pretty sure they were holding hands. I kind of made out a little bit. Kind of sucked. I might have took his metal belt off. I could be wrong. I better be wrong. Alright, I've got a deleted scene for you. When I was doing the editing for this video, I actually found this old footage that I took that never made the cut because, well, you'll see. So remember Duel and Alex? So here they are, fighting outside the dance. Oh, what a riveting fight. 
What you didn't see was Duel crying in the next shot. The next scene, we've got an exterior shot of Alex's apartment. Alex looking wistfully out over the tundra. I felt like I needed this scene because I was really trying to make a meal out of the whole Duel and Alex situation, which there just really wasn't a lot. But I tried, and then there's this fat cat, and then he sits up dramatically because he's got a text on his phone, and the cat wonders who. And it's Duel! Oh no, the drama! Okay, let's try that again with Avril. And don't forget the real star of this, the fat cat. Aren't you glad you saw that? It's over. And still no one really cares. <laughs>